Okay, I'm back. This is the second part of the video about the essay prompt. This is part two. We're going to focus on essay structure and how to cite sources in your works cited page and sort of in-text citations in your essay. All righty. Let me start by looking at this document, which I'll share with you tomorrow. We'll look at this together in class tomorrow. This is just about the bare bones sort of skeleton structure of an essay. So think of your essay as having what I call organic structure. Let me blow this up so it's a little bigger. Um, and an essay's organic structure, you can think of it this way, sort of <clears throat> three basic parts. You're making a claim, <clears throat> a central thesis, a central claim that is going to be traced through your essay as a whole, but not just stating the claim baldly and slamming your fist on the ground, um, but giving the reader some context for why you're making that claim and then defining or clarifying that claim. What is it that you're really saying? Any terms or concepts that need to be defined or developed in order for the reader to understand the central claim? That's part of making the claim. And that's the work of the introduction, okay? The introduction minimally should put, put a central claim into context and go in some distance toward defining or clarifying that claim for the reader. Why are you making it? What are you saying? And what does it really mean to make that claim? Okay. That's sort of setting up the, the essay as a whole organically. And then once the claim is out there and put into context and clarified for the reader, then you begin in the body paragraphs or toward the toward somewhere in the introduction, but certainly in the body paragraphs, you begin formulating a problem or a question that comes out of that claim. Okay? That claim leads to a question or a problem. And it's your work as a writer to sort of set that up. And so then the body paragraphs frame the problem, frame the central question, and then move in the direction of a solution or answer to that problem or question. Okay, so that's the work of the body paragraphs. And in providing a solution, you are developing that claim, right, that you made in the introduction. So there's a connection here. The solution to the problem is, in some sense, a development of an argument for this central claim. Okay, so that's the kind of organic point. They, they, everything is sort of fitting together. And then by the end, okay, so the work of the final paragraph, the conclusion, is to draw out some of the effects or the implications of the solution or answer to the problem that you've given, or draw out some effects or implications of the larger claim that you've defended in your essay. Okay, so here's, here's what I've shown. What, why does that matter? What, what's at stake here? What are some of the larger issues that, um, that, uh, that, that, um, that my claim or my solution to the problem uh, impacts? Okay, what are some of the effects or implications of the, of the argument that I've made? Okay, so that's a point about essay structure. And in this Google Doc, which we'll look at tomorrow, I've sort of just broken it down into the four basic parts of your essay. The introduction, in which you're making and defining your claim. The body paragraphs, in which you're framing a problem or a question and, and leading the reader toward a solution, solution or an answer to that question. And then the conclusion, where you're drawing out the implications and the effects of the argument you've made. And then finally, so that's the 1,250 words. Then at the end of an essay like this, even though it's not requiring a lot of research, I do want you to get in the habit of and, and sort of show me that you know how to put together a works cited page. So that's going to be, uh, in addition to the 1,250 words, uh, a page at the end just with the references. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment, okay, or right now. So let's go to the um, content page of our website. And you can see if you go down to the bottom here, I have useful links and you click useful links. I have many useful links here, but one of them is a citation guide. If you click the citation guide, that takes you to the Prairie State College Library Research Guide on sources, on how to cite your sources. Um, you can read this on your own. It talks to you about the, well, we have the link to the academic honesty page and distinguishing types of plagiarism that all of you will avoid for this essay, but if you have questions about plagiarism, what that means, here's a place to start. There's also a useful guide by one of our librarians, Matt Root, uh, on plagiarism. 
But the question is sort of when to cite your sources, how to cite your sources. We have a sort of very brief statement of that here uh, and why we do it. Okay, uh, and we can talk about that. That's if, if you really have a question about sources and um, and plagiarism and those kinds of issues, start by reading some of some of these um, pages here on the on the library website. And if that doesn't answer your question, that would be a good time to set up a Calendly office hour with me and we can talk about citing sources. Also, anything to do with the paper. Now is a good time to start thinking about meeting with me individually to talk about your essay, the topic, and all that. Okay, but so uh, you can use ML APA style or MLA style. Uh, that's a way of formatting your paper. I'm just going to click MLA. It's what I prefer, but as long as you're consistent, it's fine with me. Notice at the bottom here we have examples of citing sources uh, for a book for a journal article, for a newspaper, for a website. We have a book. Uh, we have two things. We have a book by Schaefer Landau. Okay, and so the basic citation format here is author last name, author first name, the title of the book, the publisher, and the date. So for Schaefer Landau's um, The Fundamentals of Ethics, it would be Schaefer Landau, um, and, and then his first name, then the, the, the title, and the uh, the, the, the press, Oxford University Press, and the year of publication. Um, within the ethical life, we have many different readings, and so that's not a journal article, but I'll show you how to do that, how to cite sources within an anthology. But if you do want to do some outside research, here's just a quick look at the template for how to cite a journal article, a newspaper article, or a website. Okay, you can use outside sources for your essay. You don't have to, but you can. Okay. You can go uh, and read, this is a, a very useful book about MLA style that you can take out from the library, but here are a bunch of websites and I recommend either the Purdue Online Writing Lab, that's from Purdue, Purdue University, or the Excelsior Online Writing Lab. I'm just going to click that one. That's a, a college, Excelsior College. And as you can see, it's a very useful guide starting with, in, in the left-hand column here, we have a guide to the writing process in general, to doing research, and then citation and documentation. This is the, the formatting guide here. Um, if we go to MLA style, we can start with the works cited page. Let's start there. And if you notice, there's all different templates for different kinds of media. So print books, ebooks. Most of you have the print book version of The Ethical Life and um, The Fundamentals of Ethics. So let's take a single author, right, again, this would be the format for Schaefer Landau's The Fundamentals of Ethics. But if we're looking at The Ethical Life, The Ethical Life is an anthology. It's a collection of readings by other people edited by Schaefer Landau. Okay, and so here's the kind of format for that. So um, we wouldn't start with Schaefer Landau's, sorry, we'd start with the, um, the editor, right? not the, the author. If we're just citing the book, but you're probably going to be citing not Schaefer Landau's little introductions, but the passages themselves. So Mill and Nozick and Heathwood and Wolf and Hooker. We've we've read all of those pieces so far in the Ethical Life. So you would be citing those authors. Okay, so an essay in an anthology. So if you're accessing a print book, you'll need just one container for publication information to cite a work in an anthology. Provide the author and title of the specific works first, and then provide the information for the anthology. Okay, so for example, you read Heathwood. Okay, so uh, the the title of Heathwood's essay is on faring well and getting what you want. Okay, in the ethical life. So we would start with Heathwood, Chris, and then in parentheses the title of the essay, faring well and getting what you want. And then we have the title of the book out of which it is taken, The Ethical Life, edited by Russ Schaefer Landau, and then the publisher, Oxford University Press, and the year. And then we'd have the page numbers. That, that's a, the page reference to Schaefer Landau's essay, which is um, appears in this anthology edited by Russ Schaefer Landau. Okay? So just a point about of the formatting of of the citations on your works cited page. So we have two books. One of them is an anthology, and you will be citing the essays in the anthology, and this is the kind of template for how to do that. The other is the fundamentals of ethics, 
which is a book written by Rush Shaper Landau, a single authored book. Okay, um, so that's the Works Cited page, which comes at your end, the end of your essay. If you're going to also, if you're if you're reading an ebook, right here's the the format for how to cite the ebook. If you're reading a magazine article, an online magazine article, all of the different formats for different media are here. Okay, uh, that's. The first part of citing sources is the Works Cited page. The other part is your actual citations in your essay. Okay, so that's the in-text citations here. And there's, again, useful templates for how to do that. Okay, uh, here, just simply, let's say we're writing about a book by Marx. Okay, at the end of the day, Wilbur made, quote, in excess of half a million dollars. So notice the sentence doesn't begin with a quotation, it begins with a phrase of your own, setting up the quotation, and then the quotation is followed by a parenthetical. So in the parentheses we have the author of the book, the last name of the author of the book, followed by the page number. Okay, uh, here's another according to Marx. This is these are two different ways of doing the same thing. Okay, so if you go through this in-text citation guide, um, it gives you different examples of how to cite your source in the body of your essay in different contexts. Okay, but the crucial point I want to make right here is we've got the, qu the quotation marks followed by parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have the author's name and the page number. Okay, uh, we'll talk about style, like how to do this, how to cite your sources in a smooth um, way. But the first point is just the formatting. This is what the formatting should look like. And the reason why we put this in the parentheses is because now we can move directly from your in-text citation to the, um, the first word in your Works Cited page. So let's say we're citing Marx's book here. Then I know when I go to the Works Cited page, okay, the first word is going to be Marx, the last name of the author. And then I'm, so I'm going to be, as a reader, I can move directly from what you're citing to your Works Cited page. That's how we format it that way. It's, it makes it easier for the reader, okay? Um, all right, that's all for now. I just wanted to take you through the basics of the structure of an essay and uh, show you the Excelsior Online Writing Lab and show you examples of in-text citations and the Works Cited page. You can obviously go back to this on your own and go through it in more detail. If you still have questions about how to cite sources, again, set up a office hour with me at Calendly, and that's that's a good thing to talk about. Also, as I said earlier, if you have questions about the essay prompt, the topic, you're struggling to come up with a topic, that's a great moment to schedule an office hour with me. Okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.